Hello friends, how are you all doing? Hope you all are fine and in good health and state of mind. Welcome to another tutorial by Query How To. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install latest Ubuntu 19.04 desktop edition on VMware Workstation 15 Pro. So without any further delay, let's get started. First, we need to download the Ubuntu 19.04 ISO. So let's go to our browser and visit ubuntu.com. Here you can see there is a download section. Click on the drop down and from here Ubuntu desktop choose 19.04 which is the latest release. Click on it. Your download should start immediately. As you can see, I have already downloaded the ISO through IDN, so I'm like not going to download it again. So I will cancel it. Let me show you the ISO file that I have downloaded. So Ubuntu 19.04 Desktop AMD64. Now let's open Workstation 15 Pro. Click on Create a new virtual machine. From the type of configuration we want, choose typical. Click on next. Click on installer disk image file ISO. Click on browse and locate the ISO file that you have downloaded. So my ISO file is on my desktop as you can see. So choose this and click on open. Click on next. Here you can give a name for your Linux. So I'm going to give hack7 for mine. I'll choose hack7 for my username and give it a password. Click on next. Give a name for your virtual machine. So I'll give Ubuntu 64 bit as it is. And the location where you want to save this file. So I'll keep it at default. Click on next. Here you need to specify the disk capacity that you want to share to your virtual machine. So I will give 80 but you should give at least 25 GB. Click on store virtual disk, disk as a single file. Click on next. Click on customize hardware. You can, you can use this scroller to choose how much RAM we want to give to our virtual machine. As you can see 2 GB is now already selected. So I'll just scroll up to give around 2704 MB. You can also write here directly. Click on processes. From here, number of processes I will give two, and number of cores per processor I will choose two as well. So the total processor cores would be four for me. Here we have already selected the ISO file from our desktop. Click on network adapter. Click on bridge and replicate physical network connection state. Leave the rest as it is. Uh, I don't have a printer so I can remove this. Now we will close this and click on finish. So VMware workstation has created Ubuntu 64-bit virtual machine on our Windows host. So we will power on this virtual machine. Ubuntu installation is very easy. Okay, we will see in a moment.
Pardon me if you hear voices of my dogs barking. As you can see, the installation has begun. You don't have to do anything, just leave the installation to complete. Once the installation completes, you will be brought to the login screen. So I will just fast forward this process until it completes. So friends, here we are in the login screen. If you have noticed, just before the login screen popped up, there was a black screen and some text were coming down, right? So there, Ubuntu was installing the VM tools, okay? So we will check in a few minutes. So let's click on our username, put in our password, Click on sign in. If VMware tools have been installed, then we should get a full screen. I don't know why it's taking so long. Oh, here we are. So you can connect your online accounts. Uh, I won't. Click on skip. I will also choose this option. You may choose yes. Click on next. Privacy, I'll just keep it default and done. So. There we are. So if I try to enter the full screen mode, you can see we have a full screen working. So from here, from view, I can click on exclusive mode and let's see if it works. Yeah, it works. So now I will check if copy and paste or drag and drop is working. So just drag it here. Drag this a little bit bigger. Okay, so we have a test file here. So let's try to drag it here. So we have something popped up, a software updater. So I'll update it later. So just close it. So let's drag this text file onto our guest Ubuntu and let's see if drag and drop is working. So click, drag and drop, it's not working, it's not working. Don't get puzzled. A lot of us, actually, we don't know that this uh, latest virtual machine works a little bit different and that is if you open the file explorer of your Ubuntu, go to your desktop, which is this space, right? So now if you drag this file from the Windows host to this place in the explorer, you'll see it is copied and you can check test text, which is this file has just been copied here. Why? Because we just opened the explorer and from the explorer we are going to choose the directory at which we want to copy a file from our windows host to our guest Ubuntu. 
So you can see drag and drop is working. Now let's see if copy paste works. So I'll open this text file. I will open this one on, our, on my Windows host and I will write some gibberish text and then try to copy this copy and then in this text file I'm going to try to paste it so you can see copy paste is also working now I don't need to save let's close this now in case VM VMware tools did not install automatically in your system then what you are going to do so what we can do is install it manually so I'll open a terminal from here we can type sudo app get update and and apt sorry sudo apt get upgrade dash y and press enter it will ask for your password put in your password and hit enter as you can see, we have from by giving this command, we actually said we want to to update and upgrade the system. After this, we can use another command to install open VM tools, which will allow us to drag and drop, copy and paste to and from the Windows host to our Ubuntu guest. So I have already told you that this is not required because the Ubuntu latest Ubuntu release actually installs the OpenVM tools automatically. So you won't be needing to do it manually. But I'm showing this just in case this didn't work in your system so we will just wait till the update and upgrade process completes so here we are our update and upgrade process has been completed now we can write a command to install the OpenVM tools sudo apt-get install open-vm-tools again open dash em dash tools dash desktop and hit enter then there we go so I have done a spelling mistake my bad so I think now it should work hit enter here you can see it's already installed so it's not bothering but if you run this after the update and upgrade process then if your VM tools is not working then you can use this command and run it to install the open VM tools and then the drag and drop and copy paste would work like a charm so thank you very much for your patience to watch this tutorial to install latest Ubuntu 19.04 on VMware Workstation 15 Pro. Now let me tell you 
that although I am not a programmer or a coding guy, I have done a lot of research and came up with an automated script which you can find out in another video of mine. I am putting the link in the description. You can watch it. So what that script does is if you want or if you ever wanted to use Kali Linux tools that is you want to get all the Kali Linux tools on your Ubuntu guest so that you can do your penetration testing. So to do that you have to do it very carefully otherwise you may corrupt your Ubuntu system. For example, if you add the Kali Linux repositories in your Ubuntu machine, this may corrupt your system. So, with the help of my script, you will be able to get all the Kali Linux tools for your installation purpose. And after that, you can remove those repositories, the Kali Linux repositories, which you have added through my script. You can remove those and then update and upgrade Ubuntu as usual. So this way you will be safe from corrupting your Ubuntu system. So you can check out my other video. Thanks for watching again. Good luck.